Data virtualization software is an infrastructure layer that sits between the data sources, whatever they are, and whatever application is going to access that data. Now that makes whatever, wherever your data is, to the receiving application look as if it's all in one place. It abstracts your data. It conforms it so that it's all in a consistent format. If you'd th like to think it's like an iceberg, this is what your BI tool or your application sees, and then there's a whole bunch of plumbing which composite software hides away from that application. They handle the plumbing um, so that you don't have to, if you like, worry about it. And then you could deliver it to a mashup, you could deliver it to apps on a mobile platform, you could deliver it to a BI tool, you could deliver it to whatever sort of environment you want to. But it's about presenting that data, again, in that completely consistent way um, that um, is enabled by the, all that plumbing that's in the way underneath. Somebody comes along and says, look, I want to do risk management. I need real-time information across these two different systems in order to look at what's the potential risk in this case of a loan default. And you can use the data virtualization level layer to actually bring that together to do real-time queries to look at. Using data virtualization is a fairly quick and easy way to get a single customer view, pulling information together from different sources. Composite software, for example, has a Hadoop connector, so you can link in information from Hadoop to traditional sources and combine those within queries if that's what you want to do. Using a data virtualization approach does provide you with the agility to actually develop those sorts of queries much more quickly than would otherwise be the case. It, it makes it all consistent. Um, you'd think that, well, you know, normally, you, you know, if we're using, say, Cognos, we would just go and address that directly with Cognos. But no, actually, a number of customers like the approach to the extent that they will continue to use the virtualization layer, even against a single data source. Composite, in my view, is the market leader in terms of its optimization and performance at uh, accessing the sorts of data sources that you conventionally want for BI type queries and, and, and similar environments. This particular customer had a whole load of, of sales data in a Siebel Analytics warehouse. They subscribe to a thing called uh, IMS, where they get the sales data for the whole of the pharmaceutical industry. So if they could link the two together, they could see their sales in context of the whole of the industry. The problem is this file that they get back from IMS is in a very odd format. It's 24 months worth of rolling data, it needs to be pivoted, um, and the issue is that they get a file every month, and so what do they do about the new data? They tried several ways of getting that into uh, the data warehouse. It proved difficult. We built a transformation of that data that now made it appear like it was an extension of that schema. They can now query it for the, for the 13 reports, and every month they could just simply drop the file in, refresh our cache, and then run the reports. We do this in six days. Yeah, you know, it was a training exercise as well as actually an implementation. And this is actually a, a very large insurance company, and they had this whole issue that they wanted to bring Salesforce into their environment. Um, the data that they were bringing was actually very large amounts of sales data, and we had to use a combination of the caching and our optimization to make this work. So objects that basically were not changing in real time, we would cache them overnight and bring that information in, and we would augment that with the real time data that was changing the Salesforce at the time. So again, to the end user, they were using Cognos, they just saw a set of tables, they were able to query it, and we were able to control the way that data was being pulled. If we were using a more traditional integration technique, in maybe 24 hours before we see that exposure. So we can see that we can bring multiple complex sources of information together. We can do roll-up aggregation of that data, present it in a very consistent form, all the things that Philip has been describing. But we can see changes in this data instantly because it's, um, again, going against the operational real-time systems. There is actually a real story behind this. In fact, it's actually the New York Stock Exchange. They actually wanted to build uh, a liquidity risk hub. Um, these are some of the challenges that they had behind it. 
Essentially, there are a lot of them around the complexity of the data, data coming from different sources, and also the timeliness of that data. They looked at multiple ways of doing this, and they finally uh, chosen to base that whole virtualization, that platform on a virtual solution uh, using composite software.